like I was saying, you're an absolute legend. When you first started out, I mean, it does seem like you found success very quickly because you're just talented. But could you imagine all of the success you've had over the years? What was the biggest thing that you took away from it? Or, or what's kind of the biggest thing you've learned over the years? Or what's kept you here? Um, you know what the biggest thing I learned is to trust my gut. It's really mm -hmm. easy in Hollywood for people to say no. Okay. So a couple of things. One is trust my gut. Okay. Two, um, ha keep a sense of humor because there's a lot of rejection and you can't, mm -hmm. don't take the rejection personally. Mm -hmm. um, think about your, the audience. I like to, for each project, sort of think ahead. What, what, what do audiences in America and around the world want to see? What's in the zeitgeist? What will be in the zeitgeist? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And most of it will tell a good story. I mean, really, you know, develop um, fully dimensional characters that have a quest and go for it. And put emotion in there. Motion and humor always humor even if it's the saddest story in the world you're gonna have to your valve has to let out a little bit of laughter right so are those kind of is that the checklist you go through if you're if you're I going know. through yeah choosing I'm, a project unconsciously yeah yeah okay, amazing. <laughs> so legion season three yeah. very exciting what is the theme what is the feel of season three the feel is um, well there's kind of a quest okay. although there was last season too um, the feel is uh, we're definitely barreling towards a uh, explosive ending okay. and um, it's a little bit more narrative than it was last season mm -hmm. but it's also sort of very complicated because everybody has um, you know multiple feelings okay Noah has teased the fact that um, the main character is kind of starting to feel a little bit like Walter White, making a trajectory into maybe becoming an antagonist. Yes. Is that true? Is that, is that is that where we're going to start to see maybe? Yes, yes okay. because in the X-Men canon, um, David Holler, Legion, mm -hmm. is um, a very powerful mutant and not to the good. I mean, he's notorious for that. He was a villain. So, um, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Sorry, Salman. You're good. In the first we're two good. seasons, <laughs> in the first two seasons, uh, we were wondering which way he was going to go. Was he going to mm -hmm. follow his evil trajectory, or would love save him? Mm -hmm. um, and so this time, he does kind of his his real evilness, his his real goal comes out. And you know, he's a narcissist. There's a lot of things going on. He's also dealing with schizophrenia. So mm -hmm. you you kind of feel for him, and yet you don't like what he's going to do. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you talking to us and we can't wait to see what you do next. You're so Thank amazing. You. It's Thank an honor you. talking to you. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.